nice buy. Some Adirondack chairs. Kai backs made of the plasticky stuff. But the best part. Let's check this out. This is not a bad view. Ah, nice and sturdy. Yeah. So um, I think those are dorms over there I mentioned. This is a nice plaza, a lot of brick. Um, I don't know what that is, maybe a gym or something. But it uh, stands right over there, that's where it came from. And right behind me is their student center, there's a bookstore. So um, fortunately we're headed down to South Carolina, so I'm not sure right now to grab some Adirondack chairs would be smart, but it might not be a bad idea. Oh, and I see some other ones way down there, different colored ones. Oh, that makes me reconsider now. Okay, so it was either to spend like 40 bucks on an NCAA championship hat or spend 20 and get a quality Roanoke soccer hat. So, and now I'm in search of coffee. Okay, there we go. This is like one of two quad areas. It looks like the main strip of like the city of Roanoke. And I'm heading over to that building, that lovely building with the dome right there. Um, as I am in hunt for, you guessed it, a cup of coffee. So pulled around campus and parked by the stadium. And as you can see, this is the Roanoke Stadium. And as you can also see, or may not understand, that, that is the national semifinals between um, Stevens and Chicago, University of Chicago. And so, I won't be able to get on the field, although if they knew Simple Coach was in the house, maybe, maybe. Um, and then campus is all sort of up there. So I'm gonna walk, I think I gotta pay, and then I'm gonna go over to the bleachers over there and get a quick look. All right. So those look like dorms, and the guy in the red is the Stevens goalkeeper. Enter the game for I mean, Steven, this is just, just beautiful. Hill over there, go check out that area. Heated bathrooms, I was told, I didn't realize. It's a track with, uh, looks like a soccer field or some soccer nets set up there. Um, alumni field, I mean. So when we drove down, we passed a bunch of schools, Mary Baldwin, Washington and Lee, Lynchburg. And uh, if you haven't been in this part of the country, the Shenandoah Valley is absolutely beautiful. That's a great switch. You can't zoom in on the play. Okay. So there's like, Four minutes left, zero, zero. And 
first half. Um, let's see, Chicago has the better of the play, but Stevens is tactically doing a really good job of keeping Chicago in front. Right? They're not letting them get behind. They're really trying to neutralize these long, quick breaks, forcing them to have to work through them. And I think Stevens has success defensively. They're not on the flip side. They got to get a bit of hold of the ball and control it and just move over with you. Because the Chicago is too good with the ball. And it's my first time seeing them live, and I'm even more impressed with them. Big, they're quick, and they're excellent with with, with moving the ball. And, yeah. um, but it's an intense match. You know it's a national semifinal. Think it happens, we'll start wandering around up there and maybe look for a hat. Okay, so thanks for joining on this uh, Fields of Dreams. It's kind of a different one because of the games, but uh, managed to walk around campus, get some shots. Hope you liked it. It's a beautiful campus, really interesting place. Um, incredible history. Uh, and uh, watch Chicago defeat Stevens, and now going to watch. Uh, Williams play Mary Washington for a while before we head down to Greer, South Carolina. So, um, anyhow, hopefully I can get to see some schools down uh, near Greer and do a couple more of these. All right, have a good one. If you like this show, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future episodes. You can also find me on anti-social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks. This is a message from my chief marketing officer. I think this keeps him happy.